from the fantasy armchair, it is the Fantasy Tyrant. Hey there fellow fantasy football freaks, it's Thursday, so you know what that means. Time for a little quickie, you know, just a quick little in out. We're going over the Thursday night game and all the relevant fantasy players therein. Now last week, yeah, I was a little bit cynical. I think everyone took what I said a little bit too far, a little too seriously. Obviously, unless you're loaded at wide receiver and you've got a lot of great options to put in there with great matchups, yeah, you were going to start Mike Williams. The point is, Thursday night games are so unpredictable. Outside of your usual studs, and even those aren't sure things, you're not starting a lot of people with confidence. It doesn't mean no one can do it. It doesn't mean no one will ever have a good game. It just means it's hard to trust. If you're trying to make a decision between two semi-studs, you lean with the one that's not playing on Thursday night football. You don't sit a wide receiver two and start a wide receiver four instead. That's just fucking stupid. This week, I'll try to be a little more clear for those of you who have a hard time wrapping your head around sarcasm. So it's the Cleveland Steamers hosting the Puntsburg Steelers in what looks like it's gonna be a grinder, a defensive, smash mouth, ugly trench fight between two mad teams with underwhelming offenses led by mediocre quarterbacks. So I'm totally down to starting both defenses this week, but I'm gonna lean on the side of the hometown team with the Browns defense. Now if you got other good Ds, lean on those. But you could do worse than streaming the Browns defense this week, if you're desperate. Now on offense, of course you start Nick Chubb. Dude's been a stud this year. I think that's gonna continue because they have nowhere else in the offense really to go, at least on a consistent basis. I also think you're going to start Kareem Hunt this week. The Pittsburgh Steelers are particularly vulnerable against running backs. They rank 22nd against the run. I mean, without TJ Watt there, they ain't been stopping shit. On the other side of the ball, Najee Harris, yeah, he's more of an RB2 than an RB1 this year. And I think he continues that in this game. I think he puts out, you know, decent RB2 numbers. Flex at worst, I would say. There's no one else really taking touches away from him. Jalen Warren, stink shit. Him being an RB2 this season versus an RB1 ain't about him. It's about the negative game script and the offense he's playing in. You're starting him, though. As far as the quarterbacks go, yeah, they can go fuck themselves. I think the only pass catcher I'm starting with any confidence on either of these teams is Pat Fryermuth. Baby Gronk has been a top 10 wide receiver every week since like halfway through last season. And it hasn't mattered who's thrown to him. I think he's a fine start this week, don't worry. Start Fryermuth as you normally would. Deontay Johnson, on the other hand, he's suffering through a bland at best quarterback, as is the rest of the Steelers' receiving core. Bitch Trubisky is hampering all these guys' fantasy values. So only start Johnson if you're super shallow at wide receiver. No Claypool, no Pickens, not yet. Not getting cute in a defensive battle, fuck that shit. On the Brown side of the ball, outside of Chubb and Hunt, I don't know if I'm really starting anyone with confidence. Amari Cooper is hard to trust with Jacoby Brissett at the helm. Maybe you start him at the flex if you're low on good matchup options this week. Start him, but temper expectations. Donovan Peoples-Jones may be a good DFS pick this week, but I'm leaving him on the bench otherwise. He's just not consistent enough. That offense ain't doing him no favors. It's going to go through Chubb and Hunt and maybe a little Cooper. That's pretty much it. David and Joku, yeah, same thing. Until I see him actually produce something, I ain't even fucking thinking about this guy. How the fuck does this guy still have a job? People keep talking him up like eventually he's gonna be something, but no matter what circumstance he's been in, he ain't done shit. I mean, what exactly does this guy fucking do? He's as useless as a bass player in a garage band. He's about as useful as a butthole right here. Anyway, that's it. If I didn't mention him, bench him. Now you should be good to go. If you want more one-on-one -on -one advice, customized to your team and your league. Check out the link to my Patreon page down below. Sign up. I'll help you out. Good luck this week. And I'll be back this Saturday night for my start sit show that I call Benches and Bumps. Till then, I'm out. Peace.